The Lord is shifting positions. The Lord is changing positions. Not changing his own position, but changing the position of people in this gathering. The Lord is shifting positions. The Lord is changing positions. May the destiny changer, may the destiny helper, may he locate you this morning. No matter what you are surrounded with, no matter what you have been labeled by, where it falls short of God's plan for your life, may the Lord shift you out. May the Lord give you a new name. Lord, let your blessing walk an amazing walk. Produce amazing things out of this house. In Jesus' name. Amen. Please, you may be seated. I'd like you to know the operations of the Spirit of the Lord in this house and also in my life. Some have learnt it and know how to maximize it. Some have not. But this morning I'd like to share on the power of the blessing. The power of the blessing. When you study scriptures, the old and the new covenants, you, will, you may notice that the blessing of the Lord is experienced in two dimensions. Captured both in the Old Testament and in the New Testament. The blessing of the Lord is experienced and encountered in two dimensions. Both testaments uh, give basis, lay credence to this. You can come into the blessing of the Lord as a state a condition of life it's like a spiritual atmosphere that the lord has generated it's there it's like a position in the spirit there are things required that if you do those things then you come into that garden that the lord has blessed that phrase i just made comes from jacob when he was speaking about his son he thought he was about to bless um esau but he ended up blessing Jacob because Jacob used treachery and deceit, deceived the father, and put up the brother's garment, took one of the life's, I mean, animals in the, in the household, conspired with the mother. The mother cooked the delicacy the father desired because I shared with us uh, maybe a fortnight ago that there are different ways to connecting with the blessing blessing on a patriarch uh, and we see that with isaac somehow the blessing that isaac carried that he wanted to release before he expired he knew that food could activate it and so jacob plotted the graph 
got the father's blessing but in getting the father's blessing he wore his brother's garment took um, the skin of the, 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 the hair on the animal skin put it up all over his arm particularly so when the father he said who is speaking he said I am Esau your son Jacob was saying I'm Esau your son he said come close then he said the 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 the, the smell of my son is like the field of the Lord or the garden of the Lord that the Lord has blessed so there is a spiritual place there is a special place it's a condition of life it's a state that you can come into and the blessing of the Lord will become operational in your life the Old Testament lays credence to this the New Testament lays credence to this and for this first dimension of the blessing and those who seek God and those who seek the help of God can bring themselves to this dimension this spiritual state where they are blessed like the music team ministered powerfully the, the Jabez desired some things but don't let me jump ahead of myself but you see in Psalm 32 Psalm 32 I like to read from verse 1 to verse 2 he said, blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. And blessed is the man to whom the Lord does not impute iniquity or wickedness, and in whose spirit there is no deceit. You see Paul in writing to the Roman church or the Roman Christians, he made reference to this also when you read Romans chapter 4 from verse 6 to verse 8. And so... When you seek the help of God, it may be for salvation. You seek the help of God, it may be for mercy. You seek the help of God, it may be for deliverance. And you uh, conduct yourself right, you are positioning yourself for a blessing. You are bringing yourself into that spiritual state, that condition of life where the blessing of the Lord will begin to find operation in your life. But furthermore, also when you study in scriptures, you will see that when you walk in obedience to God's will, you can come into that state. Just like we started to share with us last Sunday, and I thought I'll continue that dimension today, but I'm not continuing that dimension, but I'll mention some parts of that. Uh, we started to see the blessing that Jesus um, um, spoke about, Jesus' perspective to the blessing, to be ble and how to be blessed. When you, by, when you hunger after righteousness, when you show mercy to people, when you allow yourself to be persecuted because of the sake of Jesus and his righteousness, you are bringing yourself into that state. You are bringing yourself into that condition of life. Not necessarily that the Lord will speak a blessing, but it is a state he has already generated. It's a spiritual climate already generated. So when you begin to walk in, the, in, in mercy, you begin to seek the mercy of God. You begin to walk in forgiveness. You begin to hunger after righteousness. You live in obedience to God's will. God says, this is what I require. The people who live in my covenant, this is what I require of them in their finances. This is what I require of them in the way they relate to their spouses. This is what I require of them in the way they treat their children. This is what I require of them in the way they relate to their parents. When you do those things, you honor your parents, for example. You are bringing yourself. God will not invoke something fresh. God may not even bring your parents to invoke something fresh. You are programming your life. You are ushering yourself. You are railroading yourself into a spiritual climate that the Lord has blessed. The Lord says, honor me with your substance. And the first fruit of your increase. And you see that in his word. And you make that a practice of your life. You are bringing yourself into a spiritual atmosphere. The Lord says, love your wife as Christ loved the church. And gave himself for it. And you live by that. You are bringing yourself into a blessed place. A blessed state. A blessed condition of life. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so, on a first level, you can enjoy the blessing when you live in obedience to God's word. And in this condition of like this state, those are the beatitudes you find in Matthew chapter 5. When you choose to be poor in spirit, like we established from a week ago. Not because you are naturally poor. Not because you are short of ideas. Even though you are wealthy. Even though you are struggling. But in your spiritual condition, you perpetually make yourself to be in need of God. A man shall not live by bread alone, natural supplies. A man shall live by every word that proceeds. That word that proceeds from the mouth of God is not for information. It is for revelation that should produce corresponding action. And when you do that, you bring yourself into an atmosphere of the blessing. In the Bible, I mean, the word of God makes us to understand that you should show mercy to the widows, show mercy to orphans, show mercy to the fatherless, and give to the poor. When you make a practice of that, God will not need to speak something afresh. God will not need to raise people in delegated authority to speak something afresh. Even where they are not aware of those deeds you are doing, you are programming your environment. You are, you, are, you are influencing the climate over your life to be filled with the blessing of God. When children, regardless of their age, I'm in my mid-50s now, but I still have a mother, and then I honor her, and then I, I, I attend to her. I am bringing myself into a blessing. She does not need to pray for me. Because it's a divine ordinance that is being complied with. So I'd like us to understand, on a first level, the blessing is a spiritual state. It's a spiritual atmosphere. That when you seek the help of God, and also when you live in obedience to God's word, you are positioning yourself. And the flip side of that is, to him who knows to do good and does not do it, to him it is sin. You are disqualifying yourself from a blessing. The Lord says, this is the way to live. This is how to forgive. This is how to show mercy. This is how to endure persecution. When you are persecuted for righteousness sake. And you say, no, I don't want anybody to persecute. I don't want anybody to talk about it. So because of that, you don't stand for the Lord. You are taking yourself away from the blessing. The Lord commands you like he commanded the widow of Zarephath. He told Elijah, go to Zarephath. I have commanded one widow woman there to sustain you. And then Elijah complied and obeyed and met the woman and made a demand of the woman. And it seems from that passage that the woman had initial reluctance to obey. But the man of God said, do my own first. The woman said, I have just a last meal for my son and I to eat and so that we may die. But he said, do my own first. For as the Lord liveth. Your cruise of oil will not fail. And so when the woman obeyed, she came into a spiritual atmosphere. A garden that the Lord had blessed. So it applies in our finances. It applies in our lifestyle, lifestyles. You see about eight, nine listings of Jesus and showing the blessed state, showing how to navigate into the blessing. That in your morning state, you can navigate into the blessing. That you know, persecuted for righteousness sake, you can navigate into the blessing. That you hung after righteousness, you can navigate into the blessing. When you practice these things, you are meek as a choice. You choose humility as a lifestyle. You are programming the spiritual climate over your life for the blessing of the Lord. One dimension of God's blessings, one dimension into God's blessings is to seek the help of God. And also to live in obedience to his word. Are you still in here? Alright, so when you diligently obey the voice of God, you bring your life into that state or condition of life where the blessing of the Lord is activated. And it becomes operational in your life. Psalm 1 from verse 1. He says, blessed is the man. Fortunate, enviable, divine advantage comes upon a man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the path of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful. 
but his delight is in the law of the Lord. He delights in the law of God. Every time he has an opportunity to study God's word, he's not studying for knowledge, he's studying to live by it. Every time he has an opportunity to hear the word of God on television, on radio, on podcast, he is not just trying to be impressed. He's seeking what to live by. Man shall live by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. So he says here, in, he delights in the law of the Lord and in his law he meditates day and night. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that brings forth its fruit in its season whose leaf also shall not wither and whatever he does now hopefully time will permit me to get back to this whatever he does whatever he does shall prosper also i'd like to say this this blessing of the lord as a state as a garden a spiritual environment a spiritual climate that the lord has blessed can only be activated by your response to God. The source of this blessing is God. The one who generates this atmosphere is God. Not your parent, not your leader, not your pastor. God is the one who generates a garden that is blessed of the Lord. How you position yourself is by seeking the help of God, maybe for mercy, maybe for forgiveness, maybe for salvation also as a christian by living in obedience to the word of god what is the word of god to you when you live by it when you walk in it you are positioning yourself you are programming the atmosphere around your life for the blessing of the lord to be around you and upon you can i have an amen in the house so that's the first segment of the blessings of god it is a state it is a condition of life it is a spiritual atmosphere and there are people who carry it around that's why we showed us from um, genesis um, chapter i mean Deuteronomy chapter 28 the other time he said bless shall you be in the city bless shall you be in the country or in the countryside that is regardless of your location the blessing of lord can become portable when you diligently obey the voice of the lord your god the blessing of the lord can become portable the blessing of god can become mobile you can move from one environment to another environment and enjoy, regardless of your location, the blessing of the Lord. But like I said, that's on one dimension. I want to dwell on this second dimension because I believe God wants to release some things into this gathering this morning. The blessing of the Lord is not only available as a state, a location to enter into, the blessing of the Lord can also be accessed as an invocation, a pronouncement. You see, in the Old Testament, you see sometimes as Barak, you see sometimes as Baraka, and that's the, the, the pronunciation of the blessing, the pronunciation of the blessing, and pronouncing the blessing to the Lord, pronouncing the blessing to the people. When God told the priest in Israel in Numbers chapter, in chapter 23 and in chapter 6 from verse 23, he said, in this manner you will bless the people. It was a pronouncement, a barak, a baraka, so that as the pronouncement is made, certain things can be shifted. Certain environments can be, can be controlled and influenced. But when you see another term in the Hebrew, I think it's a share, a share. That is the state I described earlier on. But like I said, I want to dwell with the invocation. The blessing of the Lord as an invocation. In the New Testament, you see the state as what is called marakaios in the Greek. And then in the convocation or the invocation, you see it as is the root word that produces eulogy. When they said they eulogize someone, oh, they are saying great things about this person. And many times we think an eulogy should only be in death or in retirement. But it's actually a pronouncement, a declaration, like a prophetic release, a prophetic de declaration to release, especially in the Christian context, to shift the environment. The way you read in John chapter 5, it talks about a pool like Bethesda. He said, but from time to time, an angel will come and steer the waters. So in terms of eulogy or eulogia, 
in the in the greek it is to make a declaration to make an invocation so that the blessing of the lord is activated and see in this second dimension both god and man in terms of human beings are involved and that is why I'd like us to understand you can bring yourself into these two dimensions of the blessing. On one level, your lifestyle, your choice to walk in the will of God, your choice to call on the mercy of God, your choice to seek repentance before the Lord, your choice to change in your lifestyle. You say it's a new year, you need to change in your ways. When you begin to shift from negative and you begin to connect with the positive, you are bringing yourself into a state. A condition of life that you don't even need any invocation you don't need any any declaration of any human being maybe any mm, father figure or leader figure to attract the blessing of the Lord that is the first dimension or oh, you see on this second dimension God blesses people God makes invocations makes declarations over people We've shown us again and again, I'd like to make reference to um, the patriarchs again. And God said to Abraham, and come out of your father's house, your kindred, your nation, to a place that I will show you. I will make of you a great nation. I will make your name great. I will bless you. He was not talking about a state, the condition of life there. He was saying, if you obey me, I will make an invocation over your life. Are you still in here? And then also you will see in the in the new testament he said blessed be god who blesses us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places through christ jesus so he's simply saying when you come to jesus you prompt god to make some declarations over your life when you receive jesus as lord of your life no matter your background you say i embrace jesus as my pastor i'm not talking about church i'm not talking about religion I'm talking about a lifetime relationship, a lifelong relationship, a relationship for eternity. When you choose Jesus into your life, there are certain blessings God has arrogated to Jesus. That God has promised to Jesus. So when you make him Lord of your life, you provoke a blessing, a declaration to be blessed from the almighty God. Are you still in here this morning? Hello friends, are you still in here this morning? all right so as invocations pronouncements made over people made over territories and made over situations i'd like you to understand the invocation can be made by the almighty god however god also enables people to be able to make the spiritual invocation people who represent god represent the constituency of god like servants of god like ministers of the gospel like pastors and prophets and evangelists and teachers and apostles people the lord has chosen to represent his kingdom to represent his government god confers sometimes they don't even need to feel like it but because the lord has placed the grace to release a blessing they're able to say things and heaven performs it you see prophet Isaiah I'm talking about how God performs the word of his messengers and establishes the counsel of his servants so those who represent God but not just in that dimension those God also recognize people who occupy positions of influence recognized by God in the family setting the patriarch of the family the head of the family the man the lord has set in the family in a community the leader the people whether by customs or her um, heredity they have chosen that this will be the person who will lead us there are some cities in our nation that the first son of the reigning king no matter how young he is will be the one to take over from the father there are some other cities in our nation like in my own city they have various families and the family head gets on a queue and the queue can take 40 years from when you start to when you eventually get to the throne so you see my city you rarely find someone less than 70 years of age 75 years of age and um, getting to the throne because the queue in that council that they call a Lubado council they have i think about 11 men and one woman and the woman happens to be the mother of my childhood friend we went to secondary school together we grew up together 
and I know that this woman had been on the queue of the yellow day of Ibadan since before we entered secondary school. For almost 50 years, she eventually got on that throne in 2018 at the age of 84. But you see, regardless of age, when you get into positions of influence recognized by God, authority is conferred. You don't need a spirit-filled person to speak a blessing over your life. If the person is in a position of authority, a drunkard can speak a blessing and can also speak the flip side, which is a curse. And in the days to come, we look into the dimension of curses in this house. And someone who is a traditional ruler, someone who is the head of an organization, someone who is the head of a community. Have you noticed, have you observed that there can be two communities that are mixed together that visitors who go to that community, they think it's one community. But the indigenous of the community, whether they are living there or living abroad, they will say, no, there are two communities there. You see in Oshun State, you have Ilefe, where I lived with my parents for 10 years, the first 10 years of my life. And then within that community is another smaller community. It's called Madakeke. There are phonetics different, there are language different, dialects of the same Yoruba language. But the spiritual climate in these two neighboring communities are different. Have you entered a community? It is like there is a line in the spirit. You cannot see the drawn visibly, but you will feel the changes. I read many years ago of a revival in Argentina, and there were two communities in Argentina, side by side. You have to educate foreigners to know that, no, these are two communities. But one thing the foreigners notice that when they enter this community, things happen easily. Good things happen easily. When they move, no visa, just move, just the same environment, the same neighborhood. Then they see that they struggle, the environment is challenged, things are difficult, to be blessed is a difficulty, and in the same geographical location. What is happening there? Acts chapter 17. I'd like to read quickly from verse, 17, from verse 24 to verse 26. He said, God who made the world and everything in it, since he is Lord of heaven and earth, does not dwell in temples made with hands, nor is he worshipped with man's hand, men's hands, as though he needed everything, since he gives to all life, breath, and all things, and he has made from one blood. Somebody say from one blood. The blood of a black man is not different from the blood of a white man. Caucasian. Oriental. Uh, our skin may be different. The blood is the same. He said he has made from one blood. Every nation of men. To dwell on all the face of the earth. And has determined. Take note of that. God. The Lord of the heavens and the earth. Has determined their pre-appointed times and the boundaries of their dwellings so you see in the same neighborhood a cluster of two communities if there is one wicked leader over one and one righteous leader over the other the climate they will enjoy in those two communities will be different i'm trying to show us here on a second level that god does not only recognize righteous leaders godly leaders any leader that occupies a position of recognition and authority, there is a measure of grace that the person walks in. That can determine whether the neighborhood of his influence will be conducive for demonic operations or conducive for angelic support. So I'm saying to us in here, in invoking the blessing, attracting the invocation of the blessing, we also need to recognize that God brings the invocation through his servants, through the apostle, prophet, and all of those things. But such invocation can also come about through people in authority. What the king of Moab wanted to do to the nation of Israel, not in Israel, but when they entered the territory of Moab, he would have succeeded. If not that God had a different agenda. Are you still in here? Hello friends, are you still in here? So please recognize 
the blessing of the Lord can be invoked. You can walk into it as a, a climate, but then you can activate certain things that will prompt an evocation of the blessing. Jacob activated certain things that prompted the invocation of the blessing from his father. Yes, he did it by fraud, he did it by deceit, and he paid for it. That was why he spent 20 years with his father-in-law, who became his employer, and he had nothing to show for it other than the blessing of children and wives. But in terms of material abundance, enlargement of his course, he said himself, Genesis chapter 30 and verse 30, you, I, you know that your things were small when I came to you, but now they are much. When will I go and provide for my own family? Meaning he had no provisions for his family. I want to challenge someone in here this morning. You can provoke a declared blessing. You can attract a declared blessing. You can stir up something in the spirit and move the hand of God. That God will shift a leader to speak things in your life that will forever change the trajectory of your life. And I believe God that God will do such a work in someone's life today in Jesus' name. So on the second level, there is the blessing that comes by the invocation. And how do you attract these blessings? And I will mention a few of these and then we'll pray. You can attract the invoked blessing. You can attract the invocation, the declaration of heaven through God's channels of the blessing on a first level when you walk in obedience to God's command. I've shown you walking in obedience can bring you into a state, but then also walking in obedience to God's will can provoke something to favor you and change the trajectory of your life all the days of your life. Like I mentioned with Abraham, when Abraham, the Bible says, so Abraham departed as the Lord had spoken. The moment he took that step, the blessing of God started to look for him and God released the blessing on his life. And then God made an ultimate test of him in Genesis chapter 22 on the Mount of Moriah where he was told to offer his son, the one that he loved. When he lived in obedience to that word, he said, now I know that you love me indeed. Uh, indeed. And in blessing, I will bless you. And in blessing, I will bless you. May you move the hand of God to favor you this morning. May you do something with your life. May you do something with your lifestyle. May you do something with your choices. May you do something in obedience to God. That will make God to be provoked to release a blessing in your direction. We mentioned, we also like to mention here about Isaac. It was his obedience that made the Lord to bless him. It was his obedience that made the Lord to bless him. We mentioned also about Jacob, uh, the music ministry, the, the minister to us, about Jabez. Jabez made up his mind that enough of this pain. I am labeled in pain. My mother labeled me pain. My schoolmates call me pain. Everyone who calls me, they declare pain over me. He said, oh Lord, that you will bless me indeed. There were things he did to move the hand of God. But listen to this. When you bring yourself into the new covenant, you say, Jesus, come into my life as my Lord and Savior. You're not thinking about yourself. You're not thinking about your money. You're thinking about your eternity. You're thinking about the price Jesus paid on Calvary's cross. You're saying, Jesus, come into my life and be my Lord and Savior. You are provoking something. It is called the blessing of God. And you will see here in Galatians chapter 3, verse 13 to verse 14. It says, Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law, having become a curse for us, for it is written, Curse is everyone who hangs on a tree, that the blessing of Abraham might come upon the Gentiles in Christ Jesus, that we may receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. So when you say, Jesus, come into my life, you are prompting God to release a blessing into your life. But beyond that, I've mentioned to us here, when also you call on God in prayer. When also you make a demand, regardless of your state, regardless of your age, regardless of your status, you make a demand of God. Oh God, bless me. Like Jabez did, you can also provoke the blessing of the Lord. Who is ready to provoke God's blessing here this morning? Look 
Isaac, Jacob, at the fourth Jabbok. Yes, he on one level he got the blessing from his father. Genesis chapter twenty-seven. The father blessed him, thinking it was um, it was Esau. And then the following morning, before he left, in Genesis chapter twenty-eight, you read from verse one. You will see his father now really blessing him there. But because God needed to remove some wrong things out of his life, the blessing was producing. And I've talked to us along those lines, I think two weeks ago, but it was not producing for him. It was producing for his employer. It was producing for other people. And I mentioned to us, it's very possible God will make you a blessing and you are struggling. When you find yourself in such a situation, check your life. Is your life in alignment with God? Are you doing the will of God? Are you walking in the counsel of God? Is there a secret lifestyle that negates the power of God in your life? It could be in the area of immorality. It could be in the area of fraud. It could be in the area of taking the advantage of people. When those things are found in your life, though the blessing of the Lord is upon your life, it may make you help other people. And you are struggling. In such situations, the solution is repent. But this morning... We're going to pray. Jacob prayed. He said, oh, that you will bless me indeed. Remember the trajectory of his life. Chapter 27, his father blessed him. Chapter 28, his father blessed him. As he was running away from his brother, he got to a place called Luz, which eventually was called Bethel. And God started to show him the future and show him what he would do to him and how that he would bless him. But it was still a promise. It was not a manifestation. I will bless you. And then eventually, he came to a place called Jabok. Genesis chapter 32. Let's see that together. Genesis chapter 32. I read from verse 22. And this is Jacob here. And he arose that night and took his two wives, his two female servants, and his eleven sons, and crossed over the fort of Jabok, or Fort Jabok. He took them, sent them over the brook, and, and sent over what he had. Then Jacob was left alone. And I feel, even though you are in the midst of a multitude, you need to come to that point in your life where you are left alone. Even though you are surrounded by family members, you are surrounded by work, um, colleagues at work, you need to come to that stage in your life where you are left alone. If you are going to have a life-changing encounter, you need to experience what Jacob experienced at Jabok. He said, and Jacob was left alone, and a man wrestled with him until the breaking of day. Now when he saw that he, that is the angel, did not prevail against him, that is Jacob, he touched the socket of his hip. And the socket of Jacob's hip was out of joint as he, he, the angel, wrestled with Jacob. And he said, let me go, for the day breaks. But Jacob said, I will not let you go. Unless what? Unless what? Unless what? This was a divine agent. This was an angel of the Most High God. And trying to deal with a weakness in Jacob's life that hindered him from coming to the fullness of the blessing. Though the blessing had been invoked by the father. Though the um, heavenly father had made a promise of the blessing. But he needed to make a change in his life. And so he dislocated him. So that every dependence on self may be taken away. So that he learned to depend on God. But he made a request of God here through the angel. He said, I will not let you go unless you bless me. So he said to him what is your name he said jacob and he said your name shall no longer be called jacob but israel for you have struggled or contended with god and with men and have prevailed then jacob asked saying tell me your name i pray and he said what is that to you i mean why is it that you ask about my name that is how does that change your lord change your destiny and he did what and he did what friends the angel blessed he didn't say i will here the invocation was sure he said and he blessed him jacob there you see also in that uh, uh, um gospel song the music team ministered he said that thou would bless me indeed 
enlarge my territory and keep evil away from me and all of those things. And the Bible says, and God granted his request. And I trust God that God will grant someone's request here this morning. I thought I'll have a believing amen to that. I said the Lord will grant your request here this morning. Shall we rise to our feet? I like you're going to pray for yourself this morning. I don't know what area of your life for some people they desire the blessing of the Lord that will manifest in the material and financial operations and opportunities of their life. For some people they desire the blessing of the fruits of the womb. For some people they desire the blessing of the Lord that will bring divine healing. Even doctors have um, come to say we don't know what to do. We've tried our best with you. We don't know what's happening. But you can turn to God like Jacob. You can turn to God like Jabez and place a demand on the sufficiency of the Almighty. You can make a demand. You can make a pool of the blessing of the Lord as you place a demand on him this morning. I'd like you to pray for yourself this morning that the Lord will bless you. That the Lord will bless you as you go about the adventure of this great year. That the Lord will bless you. Bless you on your job. Bless you in your body. Bless you in your health. Bless you in your marriage. Bless you in your endeavors. That the Lord will bless you, bless you in your mind. Lift up your voice and take that prayer this morning for the blessing of the Lord. I'd like you to pray for yourself passionately. Receive the blessing of the Lord. Pray that God, God's hands will be moved. Yes, he has created a garden that is blessed, but he can also shift you from where you are by the power of his blessings when it is invoked upon your life. God has changed stories by releasing his blessing into people's lives. God has changed stories. God has stopped challenges by releasing his blessing into people's lives. By the blessing of the Lord, he has helped people to prevail in the battles of life. Pray for yourself this morning. Lord, bless me indeed. Pray for yourself this morning. Place a demand on the anointing of the Lord in this house this morning to release a blessing into your life. That which will help you rise above the struggles of life. That which will help you to master the limiting situations in your life. The blessing of the Lord that makes rich will locate you today. Pray. The blessing of the Lord has an invocation. The blessing of the Lord that can come to you wherever you are and change the dynamics of your life. Change the story of your family. I like us to pray in this house this morning. Pray, push through in the spirit. Pray for the blessing of the Lord. Pray, maybe you are like Jabez. Everything that people have labeled you by looks like pain, looks like shame. God is able to change your story. It may not even change your name, but it will change the outcome of your life. Or in your own case, your story may be like that of Jacob. And you contend with God and you say, Lord, I will not let you go unless you bless me. In Jabez's case, he was blessed, but his name was not changed. In Jacob's case, he was blessed, but his name was changed. What is your name? The angel said. He said, Jacob. He said, no longer will you be called Jacob because you have contended with God and men and you have prevailed. Maybe the strength of your background has not been able to make you prevail. <laughs> but if you will rise and call on God this morning, God can make you prevail and God will change the story of your life and change the trajectory of your life. Maybe you need to call on God like Jabez this morning. Maybe you need to call on God like Jacob this morning. But make sure you pray and call on God that you bless me indeed. I will not let you go unless you bless me.
Ozapo Gagaga Rosu Praliati Jika Dombra Gazali Kitobrasia Jima Shangra Gazapoga Meto Brali Gedesi Paro Shilakaya Meto Brali Shali Gedesi Paro Ndekato Bralia Meto Braziati And so shall it be in Jesus name You are still going to pray this morning But I like us to understand this When you ask for this type of the blessing the invocation of the blessing upon your life, you must also be ready to change in your lifestyle. If your lifestyle falls short of God's will, falls short of God's standard, then like Jacob, get ready for a change. You will notice that after this encounter Jacob had at the Fort Jabok, everything like trying to outsmart people, trying to cheat people, trying to take adv uh, undue advantage of situations were no longer found in Jacob's life after he became Israel. He, he limbed all the days of his life, but he also learned to depend on the Lord. I'm going to lift up your voice this morning. In case there is anything that is contrary about your life, in case there are even things you got involved in before you came to service today with the plan to go back to those things, I want to appeal to you, if this invocation will work in your life, you cannot receive the blessing of the Lord and walk in the way of ungodliness. I'd like you to lift up your voice and pray for yourself this morning. Lord, if there is any, anything in my life that falls short of your will, that will not make your blessing to manifest in my life, Lord, I repent of them today. Show me in case I don't know, and I am eager to repent of such, of such thoughts, such lifestyles today. I'd like you to pray for yourself. You cannot receive this blessing of the Lord and go into a life of fraudulence. Go into a life of cheating people. Go back into a life of immorality. Pray, Lord, if there is any aspect of my life that can corrupt or truncate your blessing in my life, Lord, I repent of them today. Lord, in case I don't know, show me those things that I may genuinely repent of such things today. But Lord, I want you to bless me indeed. I will not let you go unless you bless me. If you are into the lifestyle of promising things to people and not doing it when the time comes saying big things to people and not even doing the smallest when the time comes you need to desist from such don't let the enemy have anything to accuse you by lift up your voice and pray for yourself lord have mercy on me lord i repent of shortcomings i repent of wrong lifestyles i repent of wrong choices i repent of wrong conduct but i will not let you go unless you bless me two more minutes i'd like you to pray for yourself and so shall it be in jesus name one more prayer and then i'm going to pray for people here this morning i'd like you to begin to speak over your life that the blessing of the lord will change the atmosphere around your life the blessing of the lord will order your steps the blessing of the lord will navigate your path the blessing of the lord will locate you and change your story the blessing of the lord will produce healing in your body produce fruitfulness in your body in your body fruitfulness in your endeavors the blessing of the lord will make you rich the blessing of the lord will not be added with um, sorrow will not be added to the blessing of the lord in your life lift up your voice and begin to speak over your life as you receive the blessing of the Lord, as you walk in the blessing of the Lord, the blessing of the Lord will equip you, distinguish you, empower you, make you wealthy, make you mighty. The blessing of the Lord will produce healing in your body. The blessing of the Lord will produce favor in your affairs. Speak over your life. As to what the blessing of the Lord will produce, speak over your life. On your job, in your health, in your relationships, in your family, in your children, in your destiny, in your endeavors, in your career, with your skills, in, in your life as a whole. 
Speak over yourself. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. May the Lord bless you. Yeah. I speak as one given grace by the Lord. I speak as one sent by the Lord. I speak as one through whom the Lord has as a channel of the Lord, through whom the Lord has declared the year of blessings. I speak forth into your life this morning, serving as a conduit pipe, pipe of the goodness of God. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord terminate your struggles. Yeah. You're struggling for relationship. Struggling for fulfillment in life. Struggling for direction in life. By this blessing of the Lord. May the Lord bring direction into your affairs. Yeah. May the Lord bless you. The issues of life you have contended with in your strength that you've not be able to dislodge in your strength. The issues of character you've tried to handle in your strength and it seems to be getting larger than life in your life. By this power of the Almighty, I speak forth every weakness in your life. This power is broken in Jesus' name. May the Lord bless you. May the blessing of the Lord be stronger than the struggles in your life. Yeah. Wherever the enemy stands to accuse, wherever the enemy stands to condemn, wherever the enemy stands like he stood against Joshua the high priest in Zechariah chapter 3 and accusing to condemn the enemy by day and by night. And even according to Revelation, in Revelation chapter 3, I mean Revelation chapter 12, he said this enemy, the devil, accuses our brethren by day and by night before the Lord. I speak for right now, as the Lord rose on behalf of Joshua the high priest and said, the Lord rebuke you. I stand as God's oracle this morning and I rebuke every voice of condemnation. Wherever you have struggled, and it seems the struggles are overwhelming you, may a stronger than that struggle come into your life in Jesus' name. May the blessing of the Lord make you overcome that struggle. May the blessing of the Lord push out that struggle. May the blessing of the Lord help you overcome that struggle. In the name of Jesus. Where your condition has defied medical analysis, medical expertise, the Lord steps in into that situation. In a way that it will be medically confirmed, in a manner that it will be medically confirmed that there is a change in this report. He said, who has believed our report? Because there are reports of men by analysis, by pedigree, by professionalism, by human skills, and there is the report of the law. The prophet Isaiah said, who has believed our report, and to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? It takes our believing in the report of the Lord for the arm of his strength and the arm of his blessings to be revealed. I speak into medically defined situations medically limiting conditions that has defied medical help that has violated medical help may the lord rise against those situations may the lord bless you in your body may the lord bless you in your womb may the lord bless you in your body may the lord bless the members of your body may the lord bless your limbs bless your internal organs 
let the blessing of the Lord walk a walk of divine healing, divine repairs, divine restoration in your body, in the name of Jesus. Medical conditions terminated. Medically verifiable. Medically verifiable. But I speak by the blessing of the Lord conferred. By the blessing of the Lord invoked. I speak the blessing of the Lord into your health. The blessing of the Lord to cause changes in your body. Right now. 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 In your eyes. Right now. In your lungs. Right now. In your heart. Right now. In your limbs. Right now. In your bones. Right now. In your blood. Right now. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, let your blessings flow all over this house concerning medical conditions and medical limitations. Let your blessings flow in this house. Let your blessings flow in this house. Let your blessings flow in this house. Let your blessings flow in this gathering. Let your blessings flow even to online streaming platforms. To online streaming, streaming platforms. Let your blessings flow concerning medical conditions in the name of Jesus. I speak as a patriarch in the household of God. Limitations by reason of background. Limitations by reason of where you originated from in the natural. By reason of power speaking over that location. And saying those who come from this community cannot be blessed. Those who come from this community cannot be lifted. But I speak by the superior. If you are in such situations, there are two categories of altar calls I want to make for people to come to the front. People struggling, you know these are conditions common in your family, common in your community, common by reason of your background, where you come from. You have struggled with it. You have not been able to deal with it. And the Lord wants to deal with such conditions here this morning. And then also I'm going to pray for people. The second category People who are into jobs, seeking opportunities, seeking employment, seeking uh, job opportunities, promotion on their jobs, business opportunities, empowerment in their business. But this first category, you know this is by reason of your background. It could be by background by reason of family. It could be background by reason of the community you come from. It could be but background by reason of natural ties, natural antecedents. Come, these afflictions are common in your brethren all over the world. I'd like you to come before the Lord for this first category. I'd like to pray. And but while you stand before God's altar, I'd like you to pray to the Lord that the Lord will turn your change your story. Change your story. Change your story. And you had better be sure that your lifestyle is according to God's word. You uphold the standard of God's word. There is nothing the Lord cannot change. He said, can anything good come out of Nazareth? Probably, until Jesus came, Nazareth was not a place where good things come from. So it had become commonly known all over the communities. Ah, you are telling me to come and see in Nazareth. Can anything good come out of Nazareth? The Messiah of the world came out of this despised community. I'd like you to pray for yourself. Are you limited by reason of family background, environment background, the community background, the same afflictions accomplished in your brethren all over the world? There will be a change in your trajectory, a change in your story from today. From today, as the Lord leads. Can anything good come out of Nazareth? The Messiah himself came out of the least of the tribes of Israel. Kande shalaba koi salaba sheta skara shega kangia soprali. And God will make you as you stand before God's altar. Take note, the Lord will make you a light bearer. That others who are in the regions of darkness may see great light. Others around you may see great light and come to the brightness of your shining. 
he said those who are sitting in the regions of the shadows of death to them with great light has sprung forth matthew chapter 4 from verse 16 and those who are seated in the regions of the shadows of death to them a great light has sprung and seated in the shadows of darkness to them great light has sprung forth yes lord change stories unlock destinies turn loose captives turn around captivities well, render captivity captive receive gifts for your sons and daughters even for the rebellious amongst us that you oh god might dwell amongst us you let captivity captive you receive gifts for men for men even for the rebellious also that the lord our god may dwell amongst us blessed be god who daily loads us with benefits even the god of our salvation unto god belongs escapes from death every form of the shadow of death in your life by reason of family by reason of background there is a termination a terminating grace here this morning a terminating grace here this morning a disconnecting grace here this morning to turn you loose into the blessing that those around you may see his goodness and be provoked turn all the ends of the earth yes lord 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 a new name a new you a new name the shackles are broken fluxes are consumed by the consuming fire of the lord a new name a new lot a new level of recommendation a new way of living receive the blessing of the lord receive the blessing of the lord in the name of jesus the lord confer upon you we invoke upon your life this morning the blessing of the lord that gives power to the weak strength for your battles victory in life receive the blessing right now in the name of jesus Receive the blessing of the Lord in the name of Jesus. Receive the blessing of the Lord in the name of Jesus. Receive the blessing of the Lord. The Lord turns you loose. The Lord turns you around. Turns you around. Please turn around. Turn around. No, please wait. Turn around. Again. Again yes thank you thank you lord lord turn cause a turn in this life release your blessing and change your story in the name of jesus receive the blessing of the lord in the name of jesus receive the blessing of the lord in the name of jesus receive the blessing of the lord receive the blessing of the lord receive the blessing of the lord yes let the power go flow into your life let the power go partner with you from this moment a new you receive right now yes let the blessing of the lord flow right now in the name of jesus receive the blessing of the lord no we no man after the flesh anymore though we have known christ after the flesh no we him no more after the flesh though we have known you god's will after the flesh no we you no more according to the flesh a new you you rise in battle you prevail in life receive the blessing of the lord in the name of jesus receive the blessing of the lord receive the blessing of the lord receive the blessing of the lord may the lord find you receive the blessing of the lord yes let the blessing of the lord order your life order your steps navigate your life receive the blessing of the lord yes barrier busting limit barrier busting power receive the blessing of the lord in the name of jesus receive the blessing of the lord let the power go flow into your life 
to bless you to recommend you in the name of Jesus receive the blessing of the Lord let it flow right now come on let it flow right now yes you no longer fight alone in fact you will not fight at all the Lord fights your battles the Lord makes of you more than conquerors receive the blessing of the Lord right now yes yes a new name a new you rising out of the ashes of the old you arise and shine for the blessing of the Lord comes upon you receive the blessing right now in the name of Jesus receive the blessing receive the blessing receive the blessing let it flow let it extend to your family let it change your story receive the blessing of the Lord receive the blessing of the Lord yes Lord yes Lord receive it let it flow right now oh make a way for you where there seems to be no way you are you are taken out of the queue you are set apart and set on high receive the blessing right now you are taken out of the queue you are set apart you are set on high you are taken from the back side to the front side receive the blessing let it flow yes right now in the name of jesus receive the blessing the blessing of the lord kai Lord, you are more than able to do much more than we ask or think. You are more than able to do much more than we ask or think according to your power to work in us. Receive the blessing of the Lord right now. Let it flow. Let it engineer your life afresh. <laughs> uh, yes. Let it engineer your life of a you become a construction site for the Lord, a massive work. Come on, receive the blessing right now. The Lord starts a walk in you, and He will finish it, and He will appear in His glory. Receive the blessing of the Lord right now in the name of Jesus. Receive the blessing, let it flow. Okay, let it flow right now, right now, right now. Let it flow beyond your dreams. And you will, you will be like he, like she who dreams. Because the Lord is turning your captivity. You will be like she, like one who dreams. You will be like one who dreams. For the Lord is turning your captivity. And people will begin to call your attention to it. And then you will realize, I'm no longer the one I used to be receive grace right now receive the blessing come on let it flow into the recesses of your spirit and of course living waters to flow out of your life receive it right now come on in the name of jesus yes please yes from within you rivers from within you rivers you will not be able to contain that which the lord commences in your life because it will steer you and direct you no longer will you choose your steps he will choose your steps he said he's not a man by the prophet jeremiah it is not a man to order his steps henceforth divinity steps into your humanity you will no longer choose your way he chooses for you receive grace and walk in the blessing yes the lord give you understanding in these things and activate his blessing in your life receive it right now in the name of jesus yes receive the blessing of the lord let it flow in the work of your hands in your environment in your space the lord will be the one to shoot you up <laughs> And because he shoots you up, he will underguard you. He will take you from strength to strength and glory to glory. Receive the blessing of the Lord. Receive it. Receive it. In the name of Jesus. Receive the blessing of the Lord. Yes, Lord. Receive the blessing of the Lord. 
oh yes the Lord will partner with you but you also need to be ready to walk with the Lord that the Lord will take you beyond fellowship and bring you into partnership you will become a stakeholder in the things of the kingdom of God receive the enabling of the spirit receive a quickening in your heart and capacity to carry the blessing to carry the blessing to walk in the blessing receive it right now let it flow let it flow yes Lord. yes Lord. in Jesus name we pray I'd like to pray for people trusting God for openings for job opportunities and breakthrough in business business ideas business open doors open heavens over lives concerning employment concerning and promotion on the job concerning business opportunities concerning elevation god announcing your skills announcing the areas of your competence and god causing his blessing to rest upon the areas of your competence and skills on your job the things that have to do with material financial economic productivity as you stand before God's altar, I'd like you to call on God. Maybe you are calling on him like Jabez. You have felt pain. You have known only pain. But you can know beyond pain. By the blessing of the Lord. He said, and the Lord granted that which he requested. Or maybe you are like Jacob. Jacob. You have trusted in your strength all your life. Right from the womb. There was a, 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 a shifting, a taking of what did not belong to him. He took the birthright. He took the blessing. He did not know that before he was conceived in his mother's womb, God had already said, the less shall be greater than the older. But he thought it would be by his struggles. He thought it would be by his energy. He thought it would be by his scheming. And eventually... He took, he took his brother's birthright. He took his brother's blessing. He went into Laban's house. Met a master, a, a senior chief. <laughs> but his, the climax of his experience was at Jabok. What is your name? The Lord is asking someone here. What is your name? Oh God, Shagabakayata. Maybe you are crying out like Jabez. That you will bless me indeed and enlarge my territory. Expand my coast. And cause that evil will not come near me. Cause that I will not cause, help me that I will not cause sorrow. And the Lord granted that which he requested. Or maybe you are like Jacob. And God made for a change of name. He had to wrestle with the angel of God and God said this one has prevailed with God and with men maybe you need to contend for your destiny and situations around your job need to change around your business needs a change talk to the Lord talk to the Lord talk to the Lord Meka Toshila Megandoske Li Bajika Paroski Menaski Labo Bradosi Leposh one recommendation of the Lord is enough one announcement of skill by the Lord is enough. One encounter with the Lord is enough. One report by the Lord is enough. The Lord is able to recommend you to kings. Recommend your skill. Recommend your experience. Recommend your educa education. Recommend your competence. Oh, Pashika, Langri, Kadoska, 
Meka toplai Jamblaka yekasia Mogado braga zatandeli Yes Lord, Lord release grace Release, release your blessing Release your blessing, release your blessing Upon your sons and daughters Release your blessing, release your blessing Release your blessing Upon your sons and daughters, release your blessing The blessing that makes you rich Release your blessing One more minute, pray for yourself out of the ashes of my rising today out of the ashes of my dying today i see the rising of a brand new day in which the name of the lord my god is glorified i see the breaking of a brand new day out of the ashes, out of the ashes of my dying today, today I, I see the breaking of a, of a brand new day, day in which the name of the, the Lord, my God, is glorified. I see the breaking of a brand new day. Yes, Lord, let there be a breaking forth, a breaking forth. Yes, the blessing of the Lord comes upon your life. I decree it, a breaking forth. Receive it right now. Let it cascade into the recesses of your spirit. Let it go beyond you into fields of man's endeavor. And bring recommendation. Yes, Lord. Let the power flow. Let it flow. Let it flow. Yes. Let it flow. Mashe Kabosilahati. Yes. Break forth. Break forth. Yes. Receive oil from heaven. Oh, the oil of the blessing. Receive it. It flows. Fresh oil. Fresh oil. Fresh oil. It comes upon your life. And the Lord baths your feet with oil. Receive it right now. Let it flow in the name of Jesus. The blessing of the Lord. Let it break chains, break chains, break shackles, destroy yokes. Receive the blessing right now. Whatever your endeavor, receive the blessing of the Lord. Yes, receive the blessing of the Lord right now. In your endeavors, the blessing of the Lord right now. In the name, receive the blessing of the Lord to recommend to kings, to set you on high. Receive the blessing of the Lord. into your life Amen. yes receive the blessing let the blessing flow let this hunger be met by the release of the spirit the blessing right now yes it changes your story receive the blessing right now in the name of Jesus receive the blessing right now receive the blessing for distinction the blessing for elevation Yes, Lord. Receive the blessing of the Lord right now. In the name of Jesus. Receive the blessing right now. Let the power go flow into your life. 
in the name of Jesus. Receive the blessing. Otoshi naki pasa lange to pralia kedese. Yes, recommendation. Oh yes, beyond your expectation. Receive the blessing right now. Let it flow. I speak the blessing of the Lord into your life. As a father, I speak, I release the blessing of the Lord into your life. Right now, in the work of your hands, let him mark you out and set you on high. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive the blessing. Let it flow. Oh yes, let it flow right now. Capacity for bigger things. Capacity. Oh yes, that is backed up with authority. It will be in your voice, your signature and the spirit. It will be in your decisions. Hey, receive the blessing right now. Let it flow. Receive it. Let it flow. It's yours. Yes, let it flow right now. It's yours. Take it. <laughs> Onashi kapasopagia lambri zoti jabri ilagiza. It's yours. Capacity increase. A stature. Yes, your voice is a signature in the spirit. Uh, the kings of the earth will hear your voice and respond to you. Receive the blessing. Yes, right now. Let it flow in the name of Jesus. Receive the blessing. All right. Yes, receive the blessing. Creative abilities. Resourceful abilities. Hey, that you will not look down yourself. That you will know that you are the blessed of the Lord. He said, for blessed is she that believes, for there shall be a performance of the things told her of the Lord, that you will cease to look down on yourself. For that which is within will make your eyes if you deploy receive grace right now let it flow let that be an activation let there be a turning loose let the dam be opened up let there be a gushing force receive it the capacity within let it flow let it flow let it flow jesus let it flow in the name of jesus yes receive grace come on receive grace yes 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 Yes, 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 yes. You have depended on another. But Lord gives to you what is peculiar, what is unique to you. To deploy. To be, to make ways for you where there seems to be no way. The Lord is your way maker. And the deposit of himself into your life to make ways for you. Receive grace right now. And receive the blessing. It's yours. Let it flow in the name of Jesus. Receive the blessing. Ah, uh, for recommendation and distinction. Receive the blessing in the name of Jesus. Receive the blessing. Yes, let the blessing flow right now. Yes, Lord, let it. Flow. The work of your hands, whatever you represent, competencies you represent, will no longer be caged. Will no longer be bottled up. There will be a gushing forth. Receive right now. Receive the blessing. Hey, as you provoke the blessing, receive it right now in the name of Jesus. It's yours. Yes, receive the blessing. Let it flow. Receive the blessing in the name of Jesus. Receive the blessing. Receive, 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 receive. Come on. Let it flow into the recesses of your spirit. A new you. An emergence of a new you. An emergence of a new you. The veil is pulled, aside, pulled apart. A new you comes forth. Discover and deploy. Receive it right now. Receive the blessing. Let it flow. In the name of Jesus. Receive. How God flows your life. For the blessing. For the blessing, for the blessing, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, for the blessing, be your daughter's way maker, way maker in the name of Jesus. Receive the blessing of the Lord, okay? Yes, let it flow right now. 
capacity capacity yes capacity in the name of Jesus amen let's be Recommendation, enlightenment, breaking forth, the way the soil cannot resist the breaking forth of a new germination. No matter the environment, no matter the hardness of the terrain, a breaking forth, a supernatural germination, a breaking forth. Let it come upon your life right now. In your skills, in the work of your hands, receive grace right now. Yes, capacity. Hey, a breaking forth receive grace yes receive right now receive it's yours carry it oh you will be irresistible receive it right now let it flow oh yes new doors are opening new doors are opening new doors are opening <laughs> recommendation is coming here new doors are opening yes and you have the competence to, to access the doors receive the blessing right now hey. yes it's yours things rising out of this house yes new things rising out of this house new things new pillars rising out of this house because an expansion an extension an expansion is coming upon this house so be lost for the extension be lost for the expansion i'll be raised out of this house i'll be raised out of this house where is that asuka where's that lady uh um betty where is she please come back here and be me yes please okay. Receive the blessing. You will not be feeble. You will not be feeble. You will not be feeble. Even if you're too feeble. Come on. Distinction. Receive the blessing. Let it flow. Ah. Receive the blessing. In your youth, you will arise. By this blessing. Receive it right now. ministry for business receive it new oil more than one dimension of expression one oil several dimensions of expression receive it right now new songs new competence new skills you become an authority in your field receive right now come on it's yours it's yours it's yours it's yours take it right now the blessing of the lord receive it hey the lord is restoring your years i hear the lord say the lord is restoring your years the lord is restoring your years the lord is restoring your years the Lord is restoring your years. The years of the Kankaron, the Locust, the Pamawam, the Caterpillar. He said, my great army I sent amongst you. The Lord is restoring your years. Receive it. Let it flow. Let it settle with you. Let the Lord rejoice in you. Let kings delight in you. In the name of Jesus. The Lord is raising pillars out of this house. And this is for expansion and this is for strength and this is for expansion and these pillars are not iron rods and cement and chippings and sand and water but the people of the Lord the people of the Lord that is depositing strength depositing resources depositing wisdom depositing skills competence I 
don't know if you are hungry enough for this to be a part of the pillars in the house of our God ah she zate kabayata ek liras kelina this is not by age it is by calling an election this is not by I work in this organization I work in that place it is by preordination that makes for a calling a justification and a glorification receive grace right now receive right now receive right now receive right now receive right now the blessing yes receive right now the blessing of the Lord receive right now let the blessing of please those people I, I just laid hands on now please stay here stay back stay back stay back at the uh, at the wale receive the blessing receive the blessing don't go and don't go receive the blessing yes receive the blessing yes receive the blessing yes receive the blessing you will not be limited you will not be denied receive the blessing don't go don't go the lord is working something here hey receive the blessing receive the blessing receive the blessing receive the blessing please let me take this boy receive the blessing receive the blessing of creativity oil for the blessing your little becomes much your feeble becomes mighty receive the blessing right now receive it it's yours matashe laki moskaporasia in the name of jesus receive the blessing 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 fresh fire <laughs> fresh fire fresh fire you begin to become a support where you have been supported you begin to become a support system yourself <laughs> ah the lord turn you loose the lord turn your life around receive the blessing come on and kings will come to the brightness of your rising receive the blessing right now yes i say it again kings will come to the brightness of your rising kings will delight in your products receive the blessing right now yes and you begin to support from very early in life receive the blessing receive it it's yours it's yours with your name on it receive it right now in the name of jesus yes lift up your hands Oh my shake about Santa Anthony Gracia Moto Frashiga Baris Kali Limbra Gazoto Pralia O Pas Kaha Ha Kabaya Zishi Aroski O Bagazi Ashe Nari Kaposki Receive right now. Oh. Yes. Oh yes. Receive. It's yours. What the kings of the earth are looking for comes looking for you today. Receive of the Lord right now. Full measure. Press down. Shaking together running over kings will give to your bosom take it yes take it it's yours it's yours take it right now in the name of jesus yes receive the blessing lift up your hands and receive the blessing say i receive it say i receive the blessing say it again i receive the blessing 
say one more time i receive the blessing yes let it flow lord this is empty empty vessel lord fill with yourself your holiness your beauty and your power let it flow <laughs> and you have grace grace to carry to carry that which the lord is releasing may your cup be full may it overflow yes receive right now a new culture a new dimension a new expression where you are being hedged in hemmed in locked up you are opened up you are turned loose with the beauty of the butterfly you will mount up you will fly your beauty oh will be attractive receive the blessing right now let it flow come on in the name of jesus yes thank you lord yes lord let your blessing flow here let it flow you are a vessel in the hands of God I need to break through every limiting influence that will not make what God has already committed to you and deposited in you to flow forth hey a breaking forth I remember speaking to you when I came back 2020 and the Lord is uh, bringing a remembrance of that receive grace to carry this receive grace to and the courage the grace and the courage to carry this receive it right now receive the blessing May your voice be heard. May his voice be heard through your voice. Come on, take it. His voice be heard through your voice. It's yours. And you will not be denied. And you will not be deprived. Receive it right now. Yes, those people I told. Yeah. Yes, take your place. Take your place. Take your place. According to his coordination. Take your place. Take your place. The beauty of the Lord shines upon your life. Shines upon your walks. Take your place right now. Take it. yes lord receive the blessing 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 yes Lord receive the blessing yes your your lot is rewritten where there has been contentions and contamination your lot is rewritten your lines your lot are falling to you in pleasant places receive the blessing right now yes let it flow Lord let it flow it's yours 
take it take it without struggling take it in the name of Jesus yes yes let the blessing of the Lord come upon your life Amen. let the Lord delight in you Amen. let the Lord be your way maker let the Lord be the one who, who, who takes the glory out of your life let the lord be the one who takes the glory out of your life receive the blessing Amen. right now let it flow let it flow Amen. oh yes kashi mashi mazi parata ideski paraski in the name of jesus receive the blessing that with the lord is perfecting lord finish it Receive the blessing of the Lord. Receive the blessing of the Lord. As my daughter in the faith, I speak the Father's blessing into your life. I desire that the Lord Himself bless you. As a daughter in the faith, I speak the blessing of the Lord into your life. The Lord bless you right now. The Lord recommend you right now. Yes, I speak a Father's blessing. I desire as a dear daughter in the faith i speak the blessing into your life the lord recommend you the lord reposition you and exalt you receive it receive the blessing i don't know what the lord is doing I pray that you complete it do a sure walk by the sure message of David yes that you complete what you are doing in these vessels yes Lord yes Lord yes Lord Anateshi Marika Kashe Lakisa let the rivers flow Nate Lakiso Prali Jeliski Masi Kaya let the rivers flow receive the blessing yes i see the lord increasing your capacity there is much more ahead of you you haven't seen anything yet much more ahead of you and the capacity for more receive it right now Mate Kande Rotoski Namaha Inakizo Bla Blaha Atashiga Oh Raskilani Gazi Every containing force, containing influence, containing power, its power is destroyed in your life. You mount up with wings as eagles. Receive the blessing. Carry it. Deploy it. Comprehend it. Receive the blessing right now. Yes. Ego joy. Receive the blessing. In the name of Jesus. Lord, walk a new thing in your daughter. Settle her. Give her a place of honor in Zion. A place of dignity and honor in Zion. And shine forth beyond the gates of Zion. Shine forth. Receive right now. It's yours. Receive it. Let it flow. Alabashe. Na ata za. Ibra zi. Kekashi. Narakahaya. Receive it, come on, in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Receive the blessing. Let it settle with you. 
Let it push through barriers, push through resistances. Let it settle with you. Receive the blessing of the Lord right now. You will not be behind. You will not be feeble. You will not be pushed under. Receive the blessing of the Lord. That stands you up and stands you out. Receive the blessing. In the name of Jesus. You are a light in your family. And by this blessing, darkness is dispelled. Yokes are destroyed. And take your place. Buy this blessing. Take your place. And rise. Receive the blessing. In the name of Jesus. Thank you. Father. Yes. Receive the blessing of the Lord. Come. Receive the blessing. Receive the blessing. Where's your wife? Why? Receive the blessing of the Lord. Receive the blessing of the Lord. The Lord have mercy on you. The Lord delight in you. The Lord have mercy on you. The Lord delight in you. Receive the blessing of the Lord. Right now. In the name of Jesus. The other person I told to stay. Lord, whatever you are doing in this life, finish it. Receive the blessing of the Lord in the name of Jesus. Receive the blessing of the Lord in the name of Jesus. Receive the blessing of the Lord in the name of Jesus. Receive the blessing of the Lord in the name of Jesus. Receive the blessing of the Lord in the name of Jesus. Receive the blessing in the name of Jesus. Receive the blessing of the Lord. Yes, Lord. Receive the blessing of the Lord. Receive the blessing. Receive the blessing in the name of Jesus. Receive the blessing of the Lord. Oh yes, Lord, finish your work in this vessel. Receive the blessing of the Lord in the name of Jesus. Receive the blessing. Let it flow. Let it be yours. Let it settle with you. Let it beautify your lot. Receive the blessing of the Lord right now. Receive it. Receive the blessing. Receive the blessing. In the name of Jesus. Receive the blessing. Yeah. Yes, you're one of those people. Lord, finish what you are doing in this life. Yes, finish what you are doing in this. These two ladies. Yes, whatever you are doing in these lives, Lord, finish it. Bring her here. Whatever you are doing in these lives, Lord, finish it. Yes, yes, receive. 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 You cannot be denied. You will not be stopped. Receive the blessing that makes ways for you <laughs> in desirable places that makes way for you. Receive it right now. Receive, yes, the fullness, complete work. He finished it from the foundations of the earth and he's releasing it into your life and he's finishing it. Receive it. Receive the blessing in the name of Jesus. Yes, receive the blessing. Receive the blessing 
new potentials new discoveries new competencies receive the blessing let it flow right now it's yours and stop saying I can't because you will a faithful man will abound with blessings you will because you can receive the blessing receive the blessing receive the blessing new competencies new workings of God in your life and you begin to discover I didn't know I could do this I didn't know this can come out of me receive it right now the blessing it's yours it's yours and it stays with you and it develops in you receive it in the name receive the blessing in the name of you receive the blessing let it flow receive the blessing I'm coming back here the blessing receive the blessing in the name of Jesus the blessing in the name of Jesus of the Lord oh yes receive the blessing in the name of Jesus receive the blessing yes freely you have received freely deploy of his fullness of his fullness you have received freely deploy no more holding back no more holding him and the Lord releases himself into your life you walk in the blessing the blessing lands finds a landing point in your life and finds expression through your life receive the blessing in the name of Jesus receive the blessing receive the blessing yes as a pillar in the house of our God receive the blessing As a pillar in the house of our God receive the blessing let it flow into your life into whatever you represent and make you mighty in the name of Jesus yes Lord she is car tosha tilahina sate deep calls to the deep at the noise of the waterfalls that the deep in God will find expression through me as he conveys himself to you receive for your debts a feeling an overflow receive the blessing receive the blessing let it flow in the name of Jesus yes receive the blessing it's yours receive the blessing in the work of your hands in your space you carry the blessing you release the blessing you are a blessing hey you are a blessing hey you are a blessing a man connects with you and find the blessing people connect with you and, and receive the blessing receive the blessing let it flow blessing receive it receive it right now receive it in the name of Jesus yes Lord receive the blessing receive the blessing receive the blessing one shall chase a thousand and two shall chase ten thousand by your partnership with your life partner you do more you receive more you become more but there must be partnership 
कहा must be agreement receive the blessing for who you are not for what you do but of the mercies of the Lord not for anything you have done but of the mercies of the Lord I see a blessing of the Lord conferred on your life not for anything you have done not for anything you made but because of the mercies of God receive capacity for it and take your place Yes, let it flow. Yes, let it flow. Kashi na ora gazia iraka to prasiata she kaparasi meke paraga boski meli grosia. Receive the blessing. Come on. Yes, receive it. You will not be denied. You will not be feeble. You will not be looked for and you are not found. You will be sought out. You will be a delight some land by the mercies of God. Receive the blessing. Let it flow into your life. Hey, come on. Take it. Kashi. Ozokan Bayata. Olibraga Zatobrali. Notagaya. Receive, receive the blessing. Receive the blessing. Yes, Lord. Receive it. Let it flow right now. <laughs> it's yours. And you carry it. And you function in it. And you are changed by it. And you know the difference. Receive the blessing right now. It's yours. Let the blessing of the Lord walk in your life <laughs> it walks it walks it makes rich he adds no sorrow with it receive the blessing yes receive the blessing carry the blessing in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. You are blessed. Receive the power. Let it walk in your life. Walk in your space. Walk in your endeavors. Receive the blessing. Receive the blessing. The blessing of the Lord. Receive the blessing. Receive the blessing. And receive strength in your inner man to carry the blessing. Receive the blessing in the name of Jesus. Right now, in the name of Jesus, receive the blessing. Receive the blessing. Receive the blessing in the name of Jesus. Receive the blessing. Drink, beloved. Drink of the fatness of His pleasures. Come on, receive the blessing. Receive it. Drink, beloved. Drink. I see a cascading influence of the blessing of the Lord. It runs from you into your environment. It's cascading influence of the blessing of the Lord. Receive it. Let it flow. Receive it. The blessing. Come on. And it permeates your environment. It runs like a stream into the various areas of your life. Receive the blessing right now. Let it flow. In the name of Jesus. Receive the blessing. 
receive the blessing receive the blessing in the name of Jesus yes receive the blessing Kashi Takoshi Matumbra Gazia receive the blessing receive the blessing thank you Lord hallelujah yes receive the blessing right now fresh power fresh boldness fresh authority <laughs> fresh clouds in the spirit and manifesting in your earthly space receive the blessing right now let it flow receive the blessing in the name of Jesus yes receive the blessing yes Lord let it flow your lot will not be determined by your environment but by the arms of the Almighty you will be made strong you become a strong man in righteousness you are made strong by the hands of the Almighty you become a strong man in righteousness receive the blessing be upon this house international house of his presence to our precious children on the gallery and everywhere let your blessing rest upon this house upon your sons in the house upon your daughters in the house let your blessing rest upon this house the blessing of the lord that breaks barriers that crushes shackles of the enemy the blessing of the lord that destroys yokes let your blessing rest upon this house make this house a blessing in this city make this house a blessing in this nation make this house a blessing in this generation make this house and the extensions of this house all over the live streaming platforms make these people a blessed company in the name of jesus let your blessings flow oh god through our lives our families our endeavors our homes our bodies in all that we do let your blessing flow in our lives and the things that have been spoken forth and the things that have been activated Lord bring a performance you said in your word blessed is he or she that believes for there shall be a performance of the things told him or her of the Lord may the Lord perform his word in your life May the Lord perform his word in your home. May the Lord perform his word in your destiny. May the Lord perform his word in your environment. May your environment become a, a conducive 
operational base for the mighty works of God. Receive the blessing of the Lord. Receive the blessing of the Lord. Receive the blessing of the Lord. In the name of Jesus. Shall we bless the name of the Lord in the house this afternoon? Shall we bless the name of the Lord? Bless the name of the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. Next Sunday will be the last impartation service. And Sunday, uh, Sundays for this season, as the Lord has enabled us. We just learn to make way for the spirits of the Lord. Sometimes when we give Him time and make room for Him, what we struggle to do over a decade can be done in a moment. And um, we don't have this time every time. I appeal to us, let us learn to be ready-minded, open-hearted to receive whatever the Lord has in store for us in this season. And the Lord will not bypass you. Amen. May the Lord find you. Amen. May the Lord locate you. Amen. May the Lord seek you out. Amen. May you become a delightsome land. You will not be a city called forsaken. Amen. You will be sought out. Amen. The Lord will seek you out. Amen. And the Lord will label you a city sought out. Amen. You will not be hidden. You will not be obscure. The goodness of the Lord will be evident in your life. The blessing of the Lord will be expressed in your life. Amen. The Lord distinguish you. Amen. The Lord set you on high. Amen. The Lord set you apart from trouble. The Lord exempts you from harm in the mighty name of Jesus. Lift up your hands, lift up your voice and bless his name.